So Alien 5, we are starting to learn more about this film. I did this video. Well, this is the thumbnail of the video anyway. I'll leave it linked above over here. Where we learned some fantastic... Well, basically, we, we, we got some epic new concept art. Or old concept art that was newly released. And it really did tell a story. It really, really did. But Jeffrey Thomas, the same artist, has now been releasing more. More and more of this beautiful artwork. And it is, again telling this large, very, very large story. And you can piece it together. You can start to piece it together. So one thing I would encourage you guys to do, if you haven't seen the previous video, head on over to that video I linked above and, and, and watch it because the artwork is fantastic. And I don't want to cover it again in this one just because some people will tune out and that's unfair. I will leave the artist's art station as well as his Instagram, down below in the description box, because he released some on ArtStation, some on his Instagram. So he is kind of flitting between the two of them, but it's impeccable work, it really is. And on his ArtStation, actually, you can see that he's worked with Blomkamp on a few things, Adam, you know, for Oat Studios. So he is, you know, he's he's in with Blomkamp. Uh, Blomkamp obviously really liked the work that he had on offer. This stuff is great, though. So, without further ado, let's check it out uh, and let's talk about it all. So the first one is actually this. Now, this is this is a piece that's been, this has actually been floating around for a while, or, or at least should I say the reference to this, the, the, the opposing image, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, now, in, in the comments on his Instagram, he mentions Blade Runner. So I think either... Not English, you know, it's not in English. Um, and the translate button on Instagram doesn't work versus, you know, on sort of small comments here and there. But it is a very Blade Runner vibe. It's a very LA, Los Angeles, Blade Runner vibe. This is beautiful work, though. Absolutely beautiful work. And, and, and this, it looks to either be, you know, something which jettisons people into space, like a, like a space bridge of, of some description. Or it's just a building with some fantastic light work. But this is the bigger image. This is the, hey, look, you know, let, let's look up above. Let's see what this actually is. And it does look like some form of like a space bridge of some description, doesn't it? It's clearly, you know, raised here, which again, if we look at the other image down there, that clearly goes up and down. And it looks like there's a channel running through it like I said, for some form uh, of jettisoning people uh, at high speed somewhere, whether that be space or not. Now, remember this. Remember this, because it comes into play later on in, in this video. Uh, and then we get this. Now, I was looking at the face here, and it could be Ripley. It could be Ripley. It's very difficult to see. But looking at his previous images, it does look like it could be uh, the reference that he's been taking for the Sigourney Weaver images that he's used before. So I think that this is either going to be Sigourney Weaver's Ripley, or it will be uh, an individual like Newt. Because again, that was a character which was supposed to be returning in Alien 5. Now... I'm leaning more towards Ripley. Now, why am I leaning more towards Ripley? Well, because of this. Right? Burning Inferno around her. And we can see the previous image to that is this character lurking through some pipelines. Now, why would she be doing that? Well, to set something on fire. To take the company down. That's what I'm leaning more towards on this anyway that's what it looks like to me and i again this is all theories conjecture but this is part of the fun uh until we actually learn it right this is part of the fun this is what I, this is what i find fun anyway um so i i would imagine again it, it's a bit difficult to tell because this image here looks a little bit younger um than this image so I don't really know. They could actually even be different people, but I would I would probably lean more towards it just being Ripley. Um, but like I say, this individual does look a little bit younger. Uh, and then we obviously have, you know, the, the towering inferno 
that I, I would bet she set off. And it's very much within character of Ripley. But again, just staggering artwork. It looks absolutely beautiful. And then we have some deep space. Well, it's not even deep space, but some satellite. Uh, not really, you know, in well, it's not, not really fantastic in terms of the story that we can see. This. It, it looks pretty much like a standard satellite. There's nothing on here uh, out of the norm. But one thing I did notice about all of these things, uh, even going back to, you know, this imagery here, I, I, I don't, that's not really a Wayland yutani tag. Um, and neither, is, there's no Wayland yutani sort of paraphernalia, no imagery, no, nothing lying around uh, in any of this. E even, even going straight back to this, right? That there is no Wayland yutani logos anywhere. There's nothing to indicate that this is Wayland yutani so I'm wondering if, you know, in this parallel universe, this alternate timeline, uh, which it is an alternate timeline, I guess you could say, from the main canon anyway, is that Neil Blomkamp was going to create another company, a company which maybe overtook Wayland Dutani, something else. Um, but I, I, again, going back to this sort of inferno images here, it's very much in keeping with the character, very... I mean, look, you, you could almost call Ripley... Uh, like a corporate terrorist of, of, of some description, right? You know, she wants to take down these corporations uh, because of their, you know, willingness to create massive, very, very deranged ideas of bioweapons. Uh, and I would say that this is in keeping with that character, very, very much so. But remember this Inferno, um, and, and and like I had said, you know, remember the, the imagery of this, right? And very, very specifically... Remember this, so the structure, the core structure that we can see there. Well, looks like she got her wish. The towering inferno. This sort of space bridge looking structure. She took it down. She took it down. Which I can believe. I can believe that this is something which a Ripley-esque character, or like I said, actually Ripley would do. So beautiful images, really, really beautiful work from uh, the artist Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Tom, Jeff Roy Thomas. Sorry, I've been butchering his name these videos. Um, beautiful imagery from Jeff Roy Thomas there, uh, and and it looks great. Like it, it actually looks great. And, and paired with all of this here, you can start to piece this story together. Wakes up, gets captured, new company. They're clearly ramping up their testing, alien queens, exosuits. Uh, people referenced, like, was it Ajax or something like that they were referencing? Like a, uh, like a Kenner or Necker toy, something. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, but it's fantastic. It looks great. So more story reveals, I think. Uh, and let alone that, it's just fun to speculate. So I thought we'd have a bit of fun in today's video. Let me know what you think, though, down below. Again, like I said... The artist links are down below in the description box. Uh, along with memberships, actually. If you want to join the channel, become a member, support what I do here, please do. You don't have to. It's not obligatory. Uh, but there are some benefits to it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Give the video a like. And please, please do share it. Um, because we need to get this stuff out there. Maybe it'll encourage people to kind of ramp up making stuff or, I don't know, recycle some of the ideas. FYI, the reason why I think this stuff has been dropped is not because it's in the works. I think it's genuinely just because some NDAs have been dropped now. It's, they've lapsed on timing. But let me know what you think down below. Cheers, guys. Take care.